What's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another crazy day in the world of crypto. Now, things are looking pretty good today, and that's what we're going to be discussing, along with where I think the market is going next, all of the news that you need to know to be fully up to date, some coins that I think are going to do particularly well in 2022, and I will be giving away $100 at some point in this video, so you're not going to want to miss any of this one. Now, before we jump into the video, if you don't know me already, my name's Connor, and I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy sitting in his room so never make any financial decisions based on this video now if we just quickly look at the bitcoin chart you can see things are looking pretty nice we are up a nice little 33 percent from that low we were buying when the market was scared now we are waiting to see where the market goes this is the opportunity that we have now once the market starts to move upwards we get euphoric there is opportunity again in the market and things are going to get pretty exciting in my opinion there are a few things that that we need to get past that's what we're going to be discussing next but just before we jump into that if you don't know i have joined a partnership with aax this is a really nice platform that has a bunch of different options you can trade on the spot market the futures market you can stake your coins here and if you did decide you wanted to use the aax saving and staking platform right now they have a first time exclusive where you can get a 60 percent apy on your bitcoin and your ethereum and they have offers going for a bunch of other coins after that period you can then stake for example your bitcoin here for a fixed period for 6.5 percent if you do decide to stake your crypto for a longer period of time you can actually get a higher apy going forward of course this is great if you do plan to hold your cryptos for the long term right now they have some awesome promotions going just for you guys if you do follow the link down there in my description you can get up to 110 dollars in future bonuses a 50 dollar deposit bonus and there will be a random airdrop of 250 dollars going out to people who follow that link so with all of that said go and check them out and let's jump straight into today's news so first of all we got to talk about this this is looking good now today was one of the days that i was focusing on as an issue because we were potentially going to see this get worse the ukraine and russia tensions getting worse but what's actually happened just 18 hours ago russia pulls back some of their troops from the border so this could actually be a good sign of course we don't know where this is going to go if they if this does escalate worse we are going to see the market pull back in my opinion if we start to get better troops pull back the the tensions start to ease i think this will be very good for the market now overall i don't think that this would have a long term effect on the market but in the short term, of course, it will have fear, uncertainty and doubt. And that's what we always look for here. That's why I haven't been buying too much recently, because we are on kind of a seesaw, whether or not this is going to get worse or better. Right now, it's looking good. So that's definitely a good sign for us. Now, another thing that we did see just yesterday was Fidelity is entering the crypto space with Europe's cheapest Bitcoin ETP. First of all, Fidelity International is a company that provides investment management services, including mutual funds, pension management and fund platforms to private and institutional investors. They have $780 billion of assets under management. Now, the second question, what on earth is an ETB? So an ETB is a security available on the stock market that works like stocks since both having fluctuating prices and are publicly traded. ETPs differ from stocks, however, because they are used to track a specific financial instrument like a currency, interest rate, commodity or share price index. So this is basically giving a huge amount of people access to Bitcoin that may not necessarily even know how to do it. So as this technology being Bitcoin becomes increasingly accepted, our clients are rightly asking for an efficient way to benefit from this trend. So FBTC offers clients an institutional quality solution to enter the market in a familiar, simple and secure way. So that's the most important thing. It's giving access to people who otherwise might just not be bothered to get involved in crypto because it seems like the barrier to entry knowledge wise is just way too high and with over 700 billion dollars worth of assets this could be a very good thing for the market as a whole now just moving on to the last piece of news that i found today i wanted to discuss a crypto quant fund manager thinks that it's not time to buy bitcoin and ethereum but he is eyeing three other tokens who he is is a, is a general partner and cio at the texas digital assets quantitative hedge fund star killer capital whose current assets under management are 50 million he thinks that the hold approach to investing isn't the best strategy in in fact, he even called it dangerous. So this is something that we've discussed on the channel before. You know that I do not simply just hold here on the channel. I buy things I believe in. When the market is euphoric, I take profits. When the market then becomes scared, I reinvest those profits. This is basically exactly what he's described.
describing here. Now, he also had to say, if you don't care about 80 or 90% drawdowns, dollar cost averaging and holding Ethereum and Bitcoin will work. Like I said, this is what works in the long run. I break up my portfolio to about 70% long-term holds and 25 to 30% buying and selling, right? 25 to 30% is what I play with when I sell into Euphoria and buy on the way down, in turn increasing the amount of cryptos that I have. If you don't have time to do that, if you don't have time to focus on the market and you can just handle pullbacks like we saw 2018 to 2020, there was a massive pullback, but if you had been dollar cost averaging over that time, yes, you would have seen these 80 to 90% drawdowns, but you would have also seen massive gains going into the most recent bull run. So in his own words, if you can sustain the those sorts of pullbacks over a 20 year period, I guarantee you'll be very, very rich. You'll just be amongst a very tiny group of people who can do it. Now, I don't think it's going to take 20 years. In my experience, it's been about five years. I first got involved about five years ago. I did see these 80 to 90% pullbacks, but I saw intense life changing gains just from simply buying, holding and dollar cost averaging. But the most interesting part of this article is the three tokens that he was looking at were Avalanche, Polygon and Synapse. Now, Avalanche and Polygon, I think, are going to do incredibly well. I haven't had time to research myself into Synapse, but maybe something you guys want to look into because this is a fund manager that has his eyes set on that project. So, with that said, this moves us on to the coins that I think are going to do really well this year. So, first of all, of course, Avalanche down right now at 35% from the all time high. Just like him, I think that Avalanche is going to do very, very well going forward. This project is faster, cheaper, and some some might argue that it's actually safer than Ethereum. So this could be a real contender in that space. Definitely a lot of potential here. At a $23 billion market cap, there is still room for this project to grow, in my opinion. Now, within that ecosystem, we have Joe. This is Trader Joe, the most used decentralized exchange on Avalanche. This is something that I was actually buying quite a lot of during the dip that we've seen. I think this has the potential for a huge upside. Even right now, sitting at $1.31, we were just just shy of $5 just a few months ago, just under a 4x from where we are now, just to hit the old all time high. That's something that I'm definitely expecting. And I have been investing into Joe myself. Now moving on from that, I want to talk about some smaller projects that I think have huge potential. Now, Cardina is a project that I've talked about on the channel before, and it's getting a lot of attention in this space here on YouTube, TikTok, that sort of thing. And they are another layer one solution that according to them are safer smart contracts. They they have no cost transactions. It's energy efficient at scale. They've got proven security and industrial scalability. And from my research, this does seem like they have the potential to actually grow into one of the biggest layer ones. I haven't invested into this project yet, but I'm definitely considering it. As you know, here on the channel, I'm here to make money, right? And the good thing about Cardina is it gets a lot of media attention, both in mainstream media and on social media. And we see these sorts of projects absolutely moon. They talked about so socially the most, which means the most amount of eyeballs go onto these projects and they can have the most intense movements. But with that in mind, do keep into consideration, I'm here to make money. If I were to invest in Kadena and we saw a massive pump, I would 100% be taking profits from that position. While the market is low, you can start to plan what you'll do if we do see another bull run. Well, like I mentioned at the start of the video, I am giving away $100. So all you need to do, follow the link down there in my description, head over to my Twitter, make sure you're following me. I do talk all sorts of nonsense over there. Basically, if you tweet me over there, I'll respond to you because almost no one talks to me on Twitter. But over here, all you have to do, follow me and retweet this tweet and then post your Binance Smart Chain address here. And I'm going to pick someone tomorrow to send $100 to. Now, moving on to my last two picks, we got Moon River. Now, I know a lot of people might be a little bit salty about this if you did buy up here. I actually initially bought Moon River around exactly where we are right now. So I made about four or five X. I, I only took a a tiny bit of profit from the top. Wish I took more. And now we're back here. But I think that this project shows a lot of potential going forward. It's fast. It works well. There's a lot of projects building on it. Games, DEXs, that sort of stuff. All the things that we want to look for. It's built on the Kusama ecosystem, which is the sister chain to Polygon. Another project that I am super bullish on. Another one that I was buying on the dip. Go in and look at this. They also have a sister chain called Moonbeam. Two projects that I think are going to do very well going forward. And then just lastly, Engine 
start. I've spoken about this on the channel before as we speak right now at a $22 million market cap, down from 22 cents to just under four cents as we speak. This is a launch pad. As you know, on the channel, I'm very bullish on launch pads. I hold Engine Starter, Cedify, and KCC pad, all of which have bought me multiple, multiple Xs in projects that I've invested using their platforms. And I always get the comment that these sorts of platforms are way too expensive for your average investor. Right now, Engine Starter is down to four cents. Like I said, I initially bought it at 16 cents and the lowest guaranteed tier that you can have right now will cost you just under $4,000. And this will give you access to a bunch of projects. Now there's no guarantee that those projects will give you returns, but definitely something to keep into consideration. If you don't particularly like Engine Starter, no worries, just go and find launch pads that have, that have launched good projects in the past Past and see if they've lost a lot of value since the all since the old all-time highs because that's the opportunity we have right now we are currently sitting in a massive massive opportunity if we do see the market pump from here we're going to see coins and portfolios do multiple x's so you need to strap in you need to be doing your research you need to be focused and you need to zoom out and you need to chill out with all of that said i'll see you guys in the next video peace